is there only one way to God? We're not going to get into no hot debates or opinion. We're going to go by four reliable witnesses and we're going into the courtroom. I'm going to call God the Father to the witness stand first. After John the Baptist had baptized Jesus, as it is written in Matthew 3, 17, and a voice came from heaven saying, this is my beloved son whom I love, and him I am well pleased. We're going to go to our second witness, which is Matthew. When Jesus had taken James, Peter, and John up on the mountain, he transfigured in front of them, and Moses and Elijah appeared in front of them. Peter asked, do you want me to make three tabernacles, as it is written in Matthew 17, 5, while he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. I'm going to call my third witness from Hebrews chapter 1, uh, 1 through 4. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophet at many times in a various way, but in the last day he has spoken to us by his son, whom he had appointed heir to all things, and through him also he made the universe. And now I'm going to call my final witness, Jesus himself. As it is written in John 14 said, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No one come to the Father except through me. Now I have presented my case. Now it's up to you, jury, to make your decision. Remember this, believe this, say la vie, and amen.